any day I'll make that exchange. Yeah, he's gonna bust back through that wall again, isn't he? Because that's what he does. Hello there! Long time no see! Got anything more for me today? Slow down there, bud. You kinda. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. It's a bad reload time. I can't see, so I'm just gonna. There we go. <sighs> the last Bogun bot took him down. My god. That could not have been closer. I mean, I've got acid around, so I would have been fine, but still. Oh. Bogun bolts. Well, we learnt that they deal with Mr. X really well, so I guess it's not that bad a reward. And from what we just learned, that's enough to take him down twice. Okay, I actually kind of like the bowgun in Resident Evil 2 then. I take back what I was saying earlier. It's not trash. I have a newfound love for it. Right, now where do we need to go? Technically upstairs, but in saying that... Let's go to the item box first. I think the crank is going to be downstairs where Leon was. So I think I'm going to have to go to the basement again first. Because it wasn't in the evidence room like it is in the A scenario. I think that's why Leon was trying to take me there. Also, there's the machine gun downstairs that I need to pick up too, I need to not forget about. So, I'll stick this away for now. Along with the bow gun. Just because it takes... You know what, we'll put that away and we'll keep the 18 rounds in the bow gun for now. The lighter can also go away. We'll get our handgun back out. And I think we'll head to the base, so I don't need this. If I need herbs, I know where there's another two anyway. Equip. Let's go. Back to the base. There's a machine gun waiting, and I think a crank. Mr. X in this version of the game. Not even close to as terrifying as he is in the remake. Not even close. He's almost a joke. I can, like, play around with him and joke around. Because he's just not that dangerous. I know in his final form he is when he gets his claws and he's a bit faster, but for the moment, like, he's really just not a threat. I can just dance around him. I hope this hallway is not full of zombies again. Okay, good. I think two lots of zombies is enough for any hallway, thank you. I think there might have been one zombie left at the end of this hallway or something, but that's not a big deal. Access in the parking garage. Should have probably picked up the submachine gun. At the same time, I feel like I can just kind of run through here. Apparently, those dogs are just the worst dogs ever. I ran straight past them and they're just like, hmm, must have been the wind. Oh! Oh, right before he hit me. I didn't know what that sound was. I guess the dogs are free. The ones that I killed as Leon before they got out of their cages.
on this guy. That's film, I think. Yeah. I think. When I do the other playthrough, when I do the clear A, Leon B, I'll, I'll do all the film. For this one, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> Body has been torn apart. Here's something burst out from inside. Yeah, it's about the gist of what happened. Another 36 bolts. Is there anything in your cell? Nope. Are the herbs still next door? Or has... Leon already dealt with that? Nope. They're here. Actually not going to take that. Just because I think the submachine gun might be two slots, and the crank's only one. Because if I take that, then I'll have to backtrack again. Pretty sure. Unless there's anything else, that should be the case. So I do want to take the submachine gun. I don't remember using it very much, but... I can always just unload it on a boss or something. I could even use it on Mr. X once. This again, are we? Okay. How much of my ammo did I use? A bit, to be honest, but it's alright. We had the ammo to do it, thanks to Mr. X. Otherwise, I would have had nothing. Or I would have had to use bigger weapons, which I don't really want to use against dogs. Yeah, the crank was down here. Perfect. The manhole cover, for some reason, is closed behind Leon. I'm not really sure why that is. Possible for me to open it. Okay. So Leon can go to Claire's save room, but apparently Claire can never go down to the one Leon goes to. Which I guess makes sense, because then I'd have to explain why the chest lock door is closed after Leon left. And it's just easier to close the manhole lid and just never let Claire even question it. I guess someone closed it behind her? Maybe one of the spiders did it? You'll never know. Not important to you. Go back to your area, Claire. I literally had to touch that dog before it decided that I was a problem. No point in killing them, because we're never going that way again. The other ones were in hallways, so they were a bit harder to dodge, so I sort of had to, but... Now... There might be an upgrade for this machine gun, to make it two slots, or maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Well, maybe that's Co-Veronica, actually. I think Co-Veronica, the AK, you get, root, you get something for it. Yeah, this one's just two slots. I thought so. Good. That's better than a blue herb. Because we don't have to deal with spiders, and by the time we do, we'll have found more. So we're now done with the basement. We're not coming back down here. Not on this playthrough. And we're pretty well done with the police station, too. We're going to head up to the third floor. Use the crank and get the last piece of the puzzle, and then we'll go back to Chief Irons' office. And we'll fight Birkin! In Claire A, I think Irons gets torn apart the way Ben did, and he becomes the mutant, but um, gee, this time I'm better off going this way. But in Claire B, we fight Birkin instead. Oh yeah, they're there. Um, I'll come back for them, because I actually do want them. I might need them later. And I don't think I'm going to be coming back through this area again, because I'm going to have to specifically backtrack for them. We'll save the submachine guns. I don't really know what I want to use it on yet.
I swear there was a battle with Mr. X in that. Maybe it's on... Maybe Leon B goes there? Maybe it's Claire A, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. But I'm certain there's a Mr. X battle in that one. Maybe it's the remake. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm remembering that. Also, yes, we do need that gear for where we're going. The submachine gun can go away. Not much of a fan of Code Veronica. Oh man. Code Veronica is my favourite in like the whole series. Oh yeah. I had other bullets. I forgot about those. Um I might as well, if I'm gonna carry those, I may as well carry all of them. So yeah, and that leaves me to two slots for the herbs. We'll go back for them now. And then we'll make our way up to the third floor. Just because otherwise I'll forget. I may not ever need them, but it's two herbs, and two herbs is two herbs. Man, I love Curve Veronica so much. I just love the story. I love going through the Ashford family and seeing how insane they all were and their twisted history and how they handled everything. I actually think they're the most twisted. Like, Spencer was twisted in his own way. He had a weird outlook of the world, and Marcus was very obsessive about his babies in the, in the leeches, but then the Ashfords, they, they took actual insanity to another level. Cloning their own people, and... No, not cloning, they reproduce using DNA of their ancestor to make the twins. And then the twins kill their father. Like, there's so much messed up about the Ashfords. And, you know, that game also has the return of Mr. Wesker, which is one of the coolest reveals of the series when he shows up and he's officially still alive. Because that was the first time I think we saw him. So then it wasn't until Resident Evil 4 that he got another mention. But I think there's a quick clip of him sitting somewhere talking to Ada. Crew Veronica's the first time we had it confirmed that he is still alive. Outside of maybe one of the outbreaks? I don't remember. I don't remember the outbreaks very clearly because they're so damn hard to do on your own. Oh! No, Lickers. Maybe I shouldn't run. No, I'm not going to be able to sneak around. I don't even know why I'm thinking about trying. Okay, well that wasn't ideal. I actually thought the bowgun was going to knock him over, not just... Okay. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, through the library. Let's go up. in the gear and we'll get the other half of that blue piece. And I believe there's a Mr. X battle up there. Maybe it's on our way out instead of in. But I'm pretty sure he grabs onto the balcony there and he jumps up at us. Must be on the way out. Oh, the stairs. And then we don't need the crank anymore. Ah. 
and stick the gear in. Press the button. And wahoo! It opens. Unlike Leon though, I don't have to do the weird dive down like three, four floors in a duct and break all my legs and probably neck. Blue stone, I'll take it. Now we can go back to the chief's office. And we'll get the bow gun out, because Mr. X will be waiting for us, I'm pretty sure. Because of the different A-B scenarios, all my memories are a bit mixed. There's certain encounters and things that happen that, in my brain, I don't know exactly where they are. It's all a bit jumbled. Yeah, see? Nothing here. And yet, I am almost 100% certain. Ah, oh, okay. I take it back. He is. He definitely is. How far back does this go? Not that far. We don't have much further back to fall back. Uh oh. Thank god he went for that and not the side swing, because I wouldn't have been able to dodge that. What do you got for me? Oh, grenade rounds, my hero. Now I can deal with liquors again. He's actually my hero, he's the best. He just delivers me all the best stuff. I actually love him. And unlike Nemesis, he's not a pain in the ass to take down. He just slowly walks at you while you just unload on him. Well, I was playing a bit of the demo. Nemesis is still hard to deal with in the remake, but once you get the hang of the dodging mechanic, you kind of can, like, fighting Nemesis is, is an option. I was just playing around the demo for a while, dodging all around him, just testing out fighting him. You can do it. It's not easy. It's not nearly as easy as fighting Mr. X Wolves in this one, but with that dodge mechanic, you definitely can fight him. He's not completely invulnerable like he first felt. Although you get no real benefit from fighting him in saying that. You know, he just gets back up and starts chasing you again. So the usefulness of fighting him is kind of still in question, but you can fight him. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna get this out. And a quick herb. Bring ourselves up. Grab the other blue bit and this one. Mix those together. There you go, Jaguar Stone and Eagle Stone. Right, let's go. So we fight Birkin. Then, yeah, we do the sewers as well. That's definitely a thing for Claire too. I think, but yeah, no, it definitely is. We don't have the whole Ada section, but there is a Sherry section. I think it's a little bit shorter though, because we don't have to deal with the net. There's no like cutscenes and flashbacks. Claire! Sherry, you're Sherry. okay. Sherry. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. You better be glad to see I'm safe. I'm here to protect you. Blue stone. And eagle stone. Jaguar, sir, and eagle. And a hidden little note from the chief. Probably. Mail to the chief. Uh, we have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued viral research. Our only plan, our only present concern is the presence of the remaining stars members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Nick. Pretty sure we already read this. 
You sure we got this as Leon? Yeah, we definitely did. Because this was all about him getting bribes and now no one will take away his gear. We found it elsewhere, but we definitely found it as Leon. Elevator going down here. Yeah. Um, Cherry? You wanna come with me? Cherry? Cherry? Okay, there we go. Claire! Claire? I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Opening the door. Yeah, you you wait there. I'm gonna go deal with your father. And good old Daddy Irons. Such a dank little area. This little private area. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not, Not bad, bad, girl. girl. <laughs> I always love that I'm line. I'm letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio -weapon. Superior to the T virus in every way. Mm. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. Bit iffy. William Birkin. I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. Sherry. The monster that's been tearing my is yet another product of the G virus. An ultimate bio weapon. Talk about Birkin there, not X. Um, X is a T virus creation. To cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. I do like the Claire B ending for Irons, him being torn apart by Birkin. There's a bit of irony there. Ooh, ooh, I saw that. I saw that. More acid rounds. 34 of them in the gun, ready to go. He was about to saw her up. Look at all these skulls and stuff. Like, how many people has he killed and just worked on down in this dank little basement of here? That's that's one dead chief. Hello there. I really like Birkin in this form. It's pretty basic, but I, I don't know. Something about it's cool. The way that he's still a humanoid makes him almost more creepy. He's very quickly losing any human that's left to him at this point. Just... Take him out. And 
I think he's done. Takes his last swing and over the edge. He's done. Yes, please. Okay. Push the button, put the ladder down, and then uh, we better go back for Sherry. Let Sherry know that everything's all good and you can follow me now. for Sherry. I'm pretty sure you can't climb up that ladder anyway. I'm pretty sure Claire says something like I should go back for Sherry. So you might as well just do it. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. <laughs> Pretty twist. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. Yeah, we can make out of town. Don't worry. Where we're going right now isn't exactly safe. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Right, let's go, Sherry. Not quite as useful as Ada, you know. Can't hide behind Sherry and let her deal with all the zombies the way I did with Ada. I love the way Sherry just keeps staring at Claire. My parents are here. You're not taking me away from my parents. Is this kidnapping? Just slow down every now and again and let her catch up. Otherwise she just goes into the fetal position because we went too far away and you can't open doors. Is she fine still here in half? Yep. I didn't do it, Jerry, I swear. <laughs> it wasn't me. Who shot your dad, though? That was me. Got him a few times. We go up the ladder, hell yeah. We don't see Mr. X again. Well, we don't fight him, we just see him, I think. Come on, let's get out of here. Or is it Birkin? Who do we see here? Just stop me, walk. X. Claire? I think if you're on clear A, it's Burke. Because it's clear B, it's X. So X is only really a problem if you're on B. I'm pretty sure. Like on clear on Leon A, I didn't even see it. At all. My final boss was Burke. Sherry? Where are you? Sherry! Sherry's gone. Nothing in there. Blue herbs. Eh, you know what, we've got space, and I'm pretty sure this is a save room, so... Let's just grab them. Just like last time, we won't need many, because next to nothing poisons you, but... Just in case we get poisoned. What's 
this note say? It's just how to manage the sewer again and all the different people that visit. What's in this bag? Anger bullets. Hell yeah. Nothing else left. What are we carrying? Okay. Let's sort all this out. We'll open the lockers first. Stade spray. Ink ribbons. Right. Item box. Stade spray. Blue herbs. Ink ribbons. I was going to switch. Switch out grenade rounds. And the acid rounds away, so we only really need them for bosses or when we're desperate. Oops, down. Keep the six grenade rounds on us, that should get us through most things. Um, I don't quite need the valve yet, I don't think. Because we've unlocked this. We'll go down to the warehouse first. We will remember to get the valve out when we go to the next area, though. What's this? Nothing on the wall. Are there zombies down here somewhere? Yeah. I'm just gonna back up a little. Grenade rounds, I'll take them. Hell yes. I didn't go through that door, did I? Right, let's do that. So, through the door. Hey people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel, feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description, I stream on Twitch 3, 4 days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one I hope.